Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech Cloud Solution. If you are preparing for the Azure Fundamentals exam, you are in the right place. So this is day six of our AZ900 exam question review series. If you haven't watched the previous parts, check out the playlist for complete coverage. If you want to download the complete PDF or simulate the exam like Microsoft's real test, visit our website Tech Cloud Solution for exclusive practice material. I will give you the link in the comment section. And make sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more in-depth exam guides. Now let's dive into today's question. Question number one, which of the following is something that Azure Cognitive Services API can currently do? Select all correct answers. The options are A. Recognize faces in a picture. B. Speak text in an extremely realistic way. C. Recognize text in an image. And D. Create text from audio. So the correct answer is all four. So cognitive services are a collection of domain specific pre-trained AI models that can be customized with your data. They are categorized broadly into vision, speech, language and search. Azure Cognitive Services enables developers to easily and cognitive features into their application with cognitive solution that can see, hear, speak, understand and even begin to reason. Question number two, you are planning to migrate several servers from an on-premises network to Azure and need to identify the primary benefit of using a public cloud service for the servers. What should you identify? The options are A, the public cloud is owned by the public, not a private corporation. B, the public cloud is a crowd sourcing solution that provides corporations with the ability to enhance the cloud. C. All public cloud resources can be freely accessed by every member of the public. And D. The public cloud is a shared entity whereby multiple corporations each use a portion of the resources in the cloud. So the correct answer is D. So basically public cloud is a computing service offered by third party providers like Azure over the public internet whereby multiple corporations each use a portion of the resources in the cloud. They may be free or sold on demand allowing customers to pay only per users for the CPU cycles, storage or bandwidth they consume. Now the other options which are not correct because all public cloud resources can be freely accessed by every member of the public. So all public cloud resources are not free to use. They may be free or sold on demand, allowing customers to pay only per users for the CPU cycles, storage or bandwidth they consume. It access is managed and controlled by cloud users and customers. Next option we have. The public cloud is owned by the public, not a private corporation is incorrect as it is owned by organizations like Azure is owned by Microsoft and AWS is owned by Amazon. Then the last option, public cloud is a crowd sourcing solution that provides corporations with the ability to enhance the cloud. So it is incorrect because so it is not a crowd sourcing solution. It is owned by a private organization such as Microsoft or AWS. Public clouds do not provide business with the capabilities to enhance the cloud. Question number three, deploying an app can be done directly to what level of physical granularity? Select the correct option. The options are A, data center, B, scale set, C reason and D server rack. So the correct option is C reason. So reason is a geographical area on the planet containing at least one but potentially multiple data centers that are in close proximity and network together with a low latency network. 
अजोर ऑर्गेनाइज इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर अराउंड रीजन विच इंक्लूड मल्टीपल डेटा सेंटर्स यू कैन पिक द रीजन यू वॉन्ट रिसोर्स डिप्लॉयड इन टू इफ अ रीजन हैज मल्टीपल अवेलेबिलिटी जोन यू कैन सेलेक्ट विच अवेलेबिलिटी जोन यू वॉन्ट रिसोर्स डिप्लॉयड इन टू यू कॉन्ट सेलेक्ट अ स्पेसिफिक डेटा सेंटर और लोकेशन विद इन अ डेटा सेंटर नो अदर ऑप्शन विच आर नॉट करेक्ट एज अवेलेबिलिटी जोन सो इट विल अलाउ यू टू सेलेक्ट डेटा सेंटर वन इज यू कैन हैव मल्टीपल डेटा सेंटर सो यू वॉन्ट बी एबल टू सेलेक्ट अ स्पेसिफिक डेटा सेंटर क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर विच अजोर कन्फिग्रेशन प्रिवेंट्स अजोर लेबल मशीन अपडेट्स फ्रॉम डिफरेंट अवेलेबिलिटी जोन फ्रॉम बींग डाउन एट द सेम टाइम सेलेक्ट द करेक्ट ऑप्शन द ऑप्शन आर ए फॉल्ट डोमेन बी अवेलेबिलिटी जोन सी लोड बैलेंसिंग एंड डी अपडेट डोमेन सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज डी अपडेट डोमेन सो अपडेट डोमेन्स आर अ लॉजिकल सेक्शन ऑफ द डेटा सेंटर एंड दे आर इम्प्लीमेंटेड विथ सॉफ्टवेयर एंड लॉजिक वेन अ मेंटेनेंस इवेंट ऑकर्स सच एज अ परफॉर्मेंस अपडेट और क्रिटिकल सिक्योरिटी पैच अप्लाइज टू द होस्ट द अपडेट इज सीक्वेंस थ्रू अपडेट डोमेन्स नाउ द अदर्स ऑप्शन विच आर नॉट करेक्ट बिकॉज लोड बैलेंसिंग सो लोड बैलेंसर प्रोवाइड्स हाई अवेलेबिलिटी by distributing incoming traffic among healthy virtual machines you can use load balancers with incoming internet traffic internal traffic across azure service port forwarding for a specific traffic or outbound connectivity for vms in your virtual network next option we have fault domain so fault domain provides for the physical separation of your workload across different hardware in the data center this includes power cooling and network hardware that supports the physical servers located in server racks in the event the hardware that supports a server rack becomes unavailable only that rack of servers would be affected by the outage and the last option we have availability zone so availability zones are physically separate location with their own power cooling and networking within an azure region that use availability sets to provide additional fault tolerance question number 5 you are planning to configure and estimate the cost for azure products which file format is supported when downloading azure cost estimates the options are a json b xls c xml and d csv file so the correct answer is b xls so the pricing calculator is a tool that helps you estimate the cost of azure products it displays azure products in categories and you choose the azure products you need and configure them according to your specific requirements azure then provides a detailed estimates of the cost associated with your selections and configuration After you configure your resources scroll down to the bottom of the page and select export your estimate will now be exported and saved to an excel file so if you want to practice similar types of questions or quizzes or you want uh, the resources in a pdf format then you can refer our official website that is tech cloud solution here you will get the az900 az104 or aws pdf and quizzes so i will give you uh, the link of my websites in the comment section you can refer the link and you can check it out after watching this video question number 6 a company is planning to buy an azure support plan and have a requirement that for high severity cases there must be a response within 1 hour what would be the best suited cost effective support plan the options are a professional direct b standard c developer t premier so the correct answer is b standard so a standard support plan provides sla for critical business impact that is severity a within 1 hour a standard plan is the most cost effective option for this requirement and all other options are not the correct question number 7 
you have a resource group named myrg and planning to create virtual networks and app services in myrg you need to prevent the creation of virtual machines only in myrg what should you use the options are a azure role b log c azure policy and d tag so the correct answer is c azure policy so azure policy helps to enforce organizational standards compliance and other rules on resources azure policy evaluates resources in azure by comparing the properties of those resources to business rules these business rules described in json format are known as policy definition now the other options which are not correct because tags are used to logically organize azure resources resource group and subscriptions into a taxonomy for example you can apply the name environment and the value productions to all the resources in the production next option azure role so role based access control provides fine grained access management for azure resources enabling you to grant users only the rights they need to perform their jobs then the last option we have lock so azure lock allows us to lock azure resources like subscription resource group or other resources to prevent other users in your organization from accidentally deleting or modifying critical resources now tips for this question is that you have to look for the keyword resource group restriction then the answer would be apply policy question number 8 you need to identify the content of product images to automatically create alt tags for images formatted properly which azure service is the best candidate the options are azure iot hub b azure machine learning c azure cognitive services and d azure bot service so the correct answer is c azure cognitive service so azure cognitive services includes vision service that can identify the content of an image azure cognitive service is the best candidate other options are not correct as azure machine learning so azure machine learning could be used to identify the content of product images however creating a model to identify the content of images would be cost and time prohibitive azure machine learning is not the best candidate then we have option azure bot so azure bot service can't identify the content of product images azure bot service is not the best candidate here then the last option azure iot hub so azure iot hub is used to broadcast and receives messages from iot devices azure bot service is not the right candidate here tips for this question is that you have to look for the keywords image processing generate tags then the answer would be azure cognitive services question number 9 which of the following statement is correct for azure advisor hub select the correct option the options are a you can use azure advisor to understand how to reduce the cost of running azure virtual machine b azure advisor can generate a list of azure virtual machines that are protected by azure backup c security recommendation provided by azure advisor must be implemented in a maximum of 10 days d azure advisors can provide recommendation on how to improve the security of an azure ad tenant and e if you implement the security recommendation provided by azure advisor your company's secure score will decrease so the correct answer is a so azure advisor helps you optimize and reduce your overall azure spend by identifying idle and under utilized resources you can get cost recommendation from the cost tab on the advisor dashboard question number 10 This question requires you to evaluate the text inside to determine if it is correct. If a resource group named myrg has a delete lock, only a member of the global administrators group can delete myrg. 
select no change needed if the above statement is correct otherwise select the correct answer the options are a an azure policy must be modified before an administrator b no change needed c the delete lock must be removed before an administrator and d an azure tag must be added before an administrator so the correct answer is c so azure lock allows locking azure resources like subscription resource group or other resources to prevent other users in your organization from accidentally deleting or modifying critical resources you can set the lock label to cannot delete or read only if you want to remove a resource which has a delete lock you must remove the lock first that's it for today's azure fundamentals exam question review i hope these tips and tricks help you feel more confident for your exam and don't forget you can download the pdf and take a real exam simulation on our websites check the link in the comment section if you found this helpful like share and subscribe for more in depth exam prep and let me know in the comment how your preparation is going make sure to watch the next part in our easy 900 playlist for more practice question see you in the next one